Like we discussed in yesterday's video guys, Bitcoin is bouncing from the middle of the channel and in today's video I'm going to talk with you what we can expect for Bitcoin next because we do see something interesting. We actually broke above the 4 hour EMA ribbon and yeah, I just want to have a little bit a chat about what our strategy is going to be here and basically how Bitcoin most likely will look for the coming days ahead. I want to start this time guys with of course asking you to drop a like down below which is majorly important for this channel to spread this message and we most likely have one of the most imp more important messages during this bull market and we will be able to help a tremendous amount of people if you will leave likes down below and leave comments because that will just wake up the algorithm and show these people to as much people as possible show this video to as much people as possible okay guys let's start off with real portal we do see that the bitcoin balance on exchanges is increasing um which ne don't necessarily have to have a direct effect on bitcoin but it just shows that traders are preparing to dump bitcoin but what we see is that sometimes it can work that we see an increase in the bitcoin on exchanges and the price goes down but generally what i've learned is that you have to look a little bit at the trend so we sl we see that this trend is actually slowly going up uh, we just have to be prepared that bitcoin might right now just is in a bounce and that we are going to see a further drop to the downside if we scroll down in the funding rates, the average funding fee is actually quite low. I would say that it's bullish for short term time frame. That actually tells me that most likely we will see a little bit more upwards, um, uh, upwards price action. We can see that yesterday also when we talked about the average of the take a buy sell ratio, it went back above green or actually touching the green again. Also, again, a bullish sign for Bitcoin because a lot of people are buying Bitcoin with a market order. Therefore, this one is going up. So you, we could actually see quite some bullish signs over on World Portal. Also, when we have a look at all the funding rates, so when you go to the funding rates page on worldportal.com, you can actually see the funding rates of most exchanges, US dollar margin uh, from all these exchanges but also coin margin and then you can already see that the average funding fee from all these exchanges us dollar margin uh is already coming down so we are not at these at these levels where we have like regular high funding rates because that would generally be a bearish sign then guys let's look at the structure from bitcoin first of all let's dive a little bit into time okay let's go to the daily time frame do we have the time uh here no, we don't have that. Uh, those arrows right here. Anyhow, the last low we got was actually right here. And I expect the next low to occur after the next 60-day uh, cycle. So what we are seeing right here, we can also see that basically on World Portal, we go right here, we click on Bitcoin cycles. For the ones who didn't see that data, you click on Bitcoin cycles. We can see right now that we are approaching the end of the 60-day cycle. By the way, if you haven't seen this page, bookmark this page, put yourself some reminder, send this page to your friends because for all the ones that are having a problem to know where exactly are we in the cycle when to take profits which four year cycle when is when is the four year cycle saying that we're topping out when is the six year cycle saying that we're topping out you can all find that right here on this page which will help you tre tremendously just have a look at this page once a month and just maybe once once every two weeks once a month and just check like okay we are right now right there uh, we're getting closer for example right here it just gives you some uh, perspective, which is very important, right? But as you can see, we are on day 47 and it is still possible that we, like I said in previous videos as well, that Bitcoin is just bams, doing a massive rally and still topped in that last phase of the 60 day cycle. We have seen something similar in 2019 when we had this massive rally. Nevertheless, uh, it is about probability, right? So. A couple of probabilities are the following we could bounce like we said in yesterday's video we could do something like this where we bounce and maybe do something like this where we have that uh, low that 60 day cycle low coming at the support where we are right now what also could happen is of course that we're coming down which actually technically if we look at the structure would make more sense and i will talk more about that later and then from the 60 day cycle low 
later and lower or actually lower not later but it's also possible that we let's say surpass the previous all-time high put that high late in the cycle still come down and form that low right here nevertheless in all scenarios i do think that that low will come uh, at the uh, in the first two weeks of may and that is also a moment we are going to try and catch that long position that long position will be shared over on will alerts and i think therefore like i said also if you're scalping it might be nice to have a long position right here but in generally uh it doesn't really make sense because it's quite unclear what is going to happen with Bitcoin. We ending the, we are nearing the end of the cycle, uh, so to just gamble that we are going to set a new high and then form that low, which is actually a small probability, but it is a probability, is to me personally not worth it. So for me personally, when I'm looking at my risk management and my trading strategy, it is more worth it to wait until Bitcoin is forming that new low and then try to scale in, try to enter a long position from there and then try to catch a nice leg to the upside. That is more the way I'm looking right now at the markets. But of course, maybe in a short term time frame, we, we can have that low probability situation where we go up and then come down. Then uh, what I want to tell you, why is going down structurally kind of likely or why does it look nice on the structure because we have a very important uh, resistance right here we had like a inverse head and shoulders right we've talked about that right here on the channel as well where we basically have the uh, left shoulder right here head in the middle right shoulder right there break out of the neckline but we haven't really got a retest of that neckline after really breaking it that retest would be at 24,400 a lot of people i know are looking at 25,000 so uh, i think it's still quite possible for bitcoin to come down and touch that level maybe just frankly maybe just really quickly um and eventually continue this uptrend that doesn't mean that we have to touch this level like i want to repeat myself very clearly i'm not i'm not having my buy orders at a specific level no the way that i work the way that i going to approach these markets is only based on time so i'm going to check where bitcoin is trading based on time how the structure looks and if that bottom might be at 28k 24k at 19k at 15k or at 22k i don't care about that i just care about the seasons i really want to recognize the seasons when is the season to buy when is the season to sell and i want to slide in once the seasons of buying start and slide out once the season of selling starts and i don't care about the levels directly where bitcoin is trading in i just care about the time and based on time i'm going to scale in and scale out that is going to be my strategy of this year and i'm also going to do that on a macro scale like i've been sharing also in my past videos soon i will be dropping some crazy videos guys about these cycles i will explain you in more detail what is going on what i'm looking at and why these are so important and why they can be such significance and actually how the planetary movements can help us with these cycles they're actually quite crazy so uh, some videos will come very soon i already recorded them we're just busy right now editing editing them but they will be very very dope uh, but yeah here's the same like on a macro scale we are in the season of buying right so this is something that um I just take into consideration so i generally look for long positions i'm not selling my hodl position once we are getting closer to the middle right here i'm going to consider these things i'm going to consider uh maybe stop doing long positions i'm going to consider scaling out of my hodl position st stuff like that but right now like here in the middle of the no i'm not going <laughs> i'm not going to do that i might i might like take some small long positions or maybe take some short-term trades but on a macro scale, I'm not really touching my huddle position. You got to have that conviction. And actually, guys, I saw a tweet yesterday I wanted to share with you from someone, uh, actually a very famous one, MM Crypto. Let me check if I can bring the tweet up right now. I do have to say, guys, I like that guy. I think MM Crypto is a dope uh, YouTuber. I think he has good intentions. And yeah, he's just a nice guy. But I saw yesterday something and I see more and more people talking about this. That's why I wanted to share that. So he's sharing this one, the Bitcoin three to one theory. 
which basically is the four-year cycle theory in a different jacket. He also says like it has to do with the four-year cycle. However, it has has some so have some substantial additions which changed my way how i look at the previous cycles and those ahead the funny part is we already looked at this in terms of three to one three years up one year down the four year cycle right so what i see generally is that more and more people are waking up to these cycles maybe also because we're talking about it um but mm crypto is talking about it i saw a video or a tweet from the moon talking about it people are starting to wake up because it's actually quite um obvious that bitcoin reacted in such a manner in a four-year cycle with three years of one year down three years of one year down three years of one year down but the more people are waking up to this reality the less likely this is going to repeat itself and i personally think that this is part of the adoption cycle i personally think that this is part of the 16 year cycle too because this is exactly what the dot-com bubble had so you have like four four year cycles a 16 year adoption cycle right three years up one year down three years up one year down more and more people start to wake up we have another one three years up one year down a lot of people start to wake up from this pattern then they anticipate this pattern which means that buying can be more aggressively which means that we are seeing that opposite happening with one year going up and three years going down because that is a that is something that no one would anticipate and then when no one is anticipating that it has a higher likelihood to play out so that's why also i think that the message on this channel is so important because imagine guys if you are one of these regular followers from the mono and mm crypto which i have nothing against these guys i think these are very good youtubers uh, especially mm crypto but if you just get this information right now about these four year cycles and you don't dive deeper into it you don't have that perspective that we have on this channel and you were just going to assume that we're going to have three years of one year down and you have a one year up and you you don't expect that bear market at all to come the halving didn't even come yet so you are still in your mind like wow this is actually going quite well we are still early in the cycle the halving is not is not even here but you have no clue that you that you might in front you might be in front of that massive recession that massive multi-year long bear market uh, that might come so you are <laughs> so that's actually that's actually what i'm trying to teach with mindset that's why i think it's so important that the most people will see these videos because i want to enrich their mindset with this perspective doesn't mean that i'm i'm right and that it's going to happen no but the ones that will resonate with my message they need to hear this because it can help them might even save them li save their lives who knows you never know right but if you if you in 2024 when we have seen a parabolic relic in 2023 and the 16 year cycle is playing out let's say this one is playing out and you are thinking that you are early in the cycle the whole thing has not even occurred right you are in the midst of this bullish narrative every single one of you is bullish how difficult is it going to be to take profits and you can say right now yeah no when bitcoin will be at 60 i will take some profits or blah 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 but did you in 2020 or 2021 i can i can put myself back into that time it is super difficult to have a contrarian standpoint when every single one around you is bullish and you were actually right because you were bullish when bitcoin was bearish that even gives you more confidence right you can you can maybe say like like me i've bought the bottom two times i've called the bottom two times i went all in on the bottom two times i knew this was going to happen you feel invincible your portfolio is going up you have so much money you're already thinking about buying a house buying this buying that but you didn't met that magic number in your portfolio so you're just gonna wait until you have that seven or eight figure number right and then bitcoin is actually doesn't care about your opinion so it might have topped during that 60 year cycle and entered a multi-year long bear market and you have no clue you have no clue and I think a lot of people will have this problem. And I, I basically know I cannot help everyone. Because if everyone would believe in a 16-year cycle, the chances of that playing out will also be smaller. But what I do want, I do want everyone who resonates with me and everyone who needs to hear this, everyone who deserves to hear this, everyone who can 
understand these, these cycles and this knowledge, they need to hear this. So that's why we need to reach as much people as possible. And some people, they might feel like they're resonating. They might like, oh, this is interesting. Let's look into that. And because of that, we can convince them maybe at the end of 2023, Bitcoin already topped. Like I said, I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm not saying that this is 100% playing out. I'm just saying that uh, there is one thing that I'm really certain of is that a massive recession is coming. And if you don't prefer, if you don't prepare for that, you uh, gonna have just a big problem. And this is also uh, just the principle of life, right? We have the law of rhythm, the hermetic principles, the law of vibration, the law of rhythm. Once the pendulum swing goes to the one side, the pendulum swings goes to the other side. So you got to, at these extremes, you got to prepare for the other extreme if you don't want to become the victim of these laws of rhythm, right? You got to stand above these laws. You got to recognize these laws, not standing above that law. That is, that is not really a humble saying. What I'm trying to say is you got to recognize these laws and you got to live accordingly so you can avoid the consequences of the extremes i hope this really makes sense guys uh, i maybe make some more videos about it i actually don't want to make my videos too long but they always end up being too long uh, we can go to the short shorter day time frame we st we are right now broke above the uh, four hour ema ribbon actually quite bullish so maybe we still get a small rally we have the funding rates coming down it's actually quite bullish like i said i'm personally waiting for the beginning of may to form that low if bitcoin in the short term time frame just goes up and set a new high that would be still beautiful and i might miss that rally right here that is fine i'm completely fine with that because i really need to learn my discipline i need to learn to not always 24 7 be in the trade take the trade whenever the advantages are in the advantage of the trader that is really important so sometimes it's even more important to apply discipline than to have some profits on a small rally that it does in between so this is the way how i think that I got an offer for you guys. Uh, just want to mention it for every single one of you that is liking Will Portal, that is an active trader. Uh, you can join a extra program that we are having that is will alerts which is basically a telegram channel uh, you can join that for free we will sharing extra information a lot of altcoins we bought this year that all outperformed bitcoin we did some long positions on bitcoin we called the bottom in the bitcoin price also over on the channel uh, so and there are some automated signals programmed that uh, they will signal in that telegram channel so when bitcoins are being sent to exchanges for example when the premium index hits a high level or when the funding rates is changing uh, these signals will be automatically shared in the telegram group so you don't have to be uh, 24 7 in front of the in front of the charts right and all profits all profits that are coming from this program they will be I will double them with my own money and they all only go into the development and further pro pro process of Will Portal. So um, that is very important as well to know if you supporting Will Portal, you also get more back from it. So we are working on updates. Uh, for example, the, the, that new, the page is new. Uh, the Bitcoin Cycles page is just, just new, newly launched. Uh, we get a lot of other things coming. Um, we can we are going to we are working on an update already for some time where you where we can actually have the bitcoin price and the indicators below so you can directly analyze this this will all so this has a very long term picture guys this will be a very good trading dashboard for you uh, basically to use for free um but yeah for my side it does cost a lot of development cost that's why I have that extra program. And like I said, all the profits that are made with Will Alerts, I will double them with my own money. And they are only going into this platform for the fully 100%. So that is just something that you know that you're supporting this website, free website also with that. Uh, I get a lot of questions from people actually like, hey, uh, I'm living in the United States. I cannot use Bybit and BitGet actually also not. So we have right here on exchanges, we wrote some um, reviews. So also actually this one just got published, the Femex review, you can view it right here. We've, we wrote a big review on that, what kind of products it's offering and so on. So right now 
like I can make an exception for these free exchanges. If you go to willportal.com slash exchanges, you can choose any of these exchanges. You sign up, you meet the deposit requirements and you submit your user ID on will alerts. And then I will check whether that is sufficient or not and you can join will alert so guys this is actually right now a exception because just i got a lot of messages from you um generally we we like to support bybit because we think bybit is the best exchange but we also see that bybit right now has a mandatory kyc not everyone wants that and of course it's always handy to have multiple exchanges so yeah if you still want to join you can do that by joining one of these free exchanges uh, over on worldportal.com you have to use the link from the website and submit it later on world alerts and uh, we will add you to the channel guys this is a very long video thank you if you are still here thank you for watching uh, i hope this gave you some knowledge give you some insights in the way how i think how i approach the markets and how i basically would like to outperform uh every wind or every storm that is coming ahead guys thank you all for watching leave a thumbs up if you like if you are new right here make sure to subscribe and uh, wish you all a beautiful day and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video